Hi, and thank you so much for tuning into Lex Play today. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, I'm Lex and this is Lost Falls. Today I'm going to be doing a speed build slash tutorial for Marshall's tiered neighborhood. Um, also, please shout out to Peaches who picked out this outfit for me. If you said it was cool, it would make her whole day. So just if you like my outfit, that was my little sister's doing. She's very proud. We're gonna head back to where I did my sunken waterfall tutorial. I've boarded it up and placed down these custom designs. The red leaves are where I'm gonna place houses and the pine cone is where I'm gonna put trees. The puddles mark where a waterfall is gonna be and I've traced where the river should run. So yeah. And my plan here is to have a waterfall for Marshall. I'm gonna go ahead and shave the part of the cliffs that I haven't worked on. I mainly did this side as like the bare bones of this project. So I'm gonna make the other side look similar. I'm gonna carve out some space for this. Let's get started. going to insert a little terraforming tip here. If you eat a bundle of turnips, you'll automatically be able to dig up 10 trees or break 10 rocks instead of having to eat one fruit at a time. Now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to put down some custom designs here to mark where my fourth and final house is going to be. You might have noticed that there were already patterns on the ground elsewhere, so this neighborhood is going to be just four of my houses. Now that I'm happy with the basic structure of my cliffs, I'm going to go ahead and terraform the river. And although I normally go for a very natural river, I'm going to make this one very rigid and straight because I'm going to place a bridge. I'm placing clover designs down because this is where the four corners of the bridge should be. I'm going to put them on either side and that'll just help me line the bridge up when I'm ready to place it. It'll make it a lot easier to see where I am. If you watched my sunken waterfall tutorial, you'll recognize this area that I'm boarding up. I'm just getting rid of the empty space so that it's ready for the neighborhood. Now I'm just going to make a deposit for the waterfall so that the water is going somewhere, just somewhere small. I want my tiered neighborhood to be sort of grand, so I'm gonna leave an elevated space in front of it, and this area that I'm terraforming now is going to be a staircase leading down into the neighborhood, so it'll just be kind of like an overlook into this fancy little neighborhood that I'm making. I'm pretty happy with my cliffs overall, so I'm going to go ahead and make the waterfall and I'm going to round the edges around the waterfall just because I think that looks better. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make the top part of the waterfall as well. It's getting pretty gloomy, but now that I have my general setup, I'm going to go ahead and place the bridge and I'm going to put Marshall's house here. And uh, yeah, we'll look tomorrow with the bridge and start terraforming some more. Okay, new day, new bridge. As you can probably see in the background, I got a little overexcited and didn't film some of the decorating, just a few plants, some trees and flowers, but yeah, you're gonna get to see the rest of Marshall's house. Also, I removed this little land bridge that had been in front of the waterfall now that we have this grand brick bridge, and I did start placing the path to Marshall's house. So yeah, let's get started decorating. 
I found this absolutely adorable autumn path border. I'll put the code up on the screen for you, but I'll probably also make a video of all the codes that I'm gonna use on Lost Falls just so they're all together. decorate a little bit over here, add some furniture, a little seating area for Marshall. I'm going to give our king a little waterfall overlook, so I'll slow the video down so that you can see how I terraform these. I like to fix the cliffs first, so I'm going to round both edges and then I'm going to climb up on the cliff so that I can get the right waterfall look. So you're going to break the very edge first in the middle so that there's cliff on either side and then do it one away, one up and one to the side of the first waterfall you did. And if you break the block between them, you'll get this curve instead of a sharp corner, but only if you do that block last will it make a curve. I think the top part is the most complicated. After that, I just tidy up, add a little bit of decor, a tree, make sure the water looks the way I want it to look. I'm gonna add a little bit more water here on top, like a miniature pond, and you know, just to give some scenery to Marshall's seating area. Once I'm happy with the water, I just want to add some more decoration around. I want to make the area, the space around Marshall's house just feel fuller, um, like it's lived in, like it's natural. You can see it's already starting to look nice. I'm just going to run and grab some more crafting materials so we can add some more decor. Now that I'm essentially done terraforming the area immediately around Marshall, I'm going to add some more custom designs and furniture so that it feels homey and cozy for him. My next goal is to fill in the cliff behind his house. I want it to have height, but also not feel cluttered. So I'm just gonna add some more trees, custom designs, flowers, shrubs, whatever I can add in order to create a cozier feeling around his house so it doesn't feel so empty. So this is how it looks now. I know I'm going to add some more things when I start to add the other houses in, but I do think I want to add more to the cliffs. They still feel a little bit empty. If 
you're at a loss for how to fill space on the cliffs, I highly recommend more flowers, more shrubs, try out some garden rocks, and any of the mush furniture looks really good in my opinion. At this point, I'm just going to be doing a few finishing touches. Make sure you tune into the next part of the tiered neighborhood when I decorate the next house in order to see what Marshall's area looks like with everything growing. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and here are some words from my little sister. I love you guys, and I hope you like the outfit!